does look like we do have a patient arriving today for a annual checkup. Very good. And let's have the nurse from the office send them in. And hello there. <laughs> yes, welcome to the exam room. Pleasure to see you here. Yes, I, I am the nurse of the examination room and I will be giving you the preliminary examination before the doctor sees you, okay? Yes. And did the nurse from the front desk send you here to this room? Good. So, that means your name is... Perfect pleasure to meet you. I'm Nurse TMI. What does TMI stand for? Oh, too much information. You'll find out very soon why. Yes, so if you could just please take a seat right at the exam table that's in front of me, okay? Good, and just relax, okay? And when you did walk in, I did hear your tummy uh, rumbling. Are you someone who is a bit nervous to be at a clinic? Or is your stomach just a bit hungry? Because we do have snacks. I do have uh, gummy snacks, like gummy little fruit. You're good. Okay, we do have lollipops, too. You're good. Okay, just gonna write that down. So, what brings you here today? Just a normal, casual, annual checkup. Okay, well, this means I'm gonna be asking you a lot of personal questions, okay? And you gotta be honest with me, okay? Okay, pleasure. It's all to help you, I promised you. And some might say that I do have some judgment, but no judgment here, but also full judgment, because I'm gonna be guiding you in the right direction. Good, good. So, we're first gonna be getting your vitals. Is that okay? here to sit still. So, could you let me know your first and last name? Perfect temperature. Okay. And could you let me know your birthday? Amazing temperature here. And what year is your birthday? Okay, and I did notice that you still have a pediatrician that you work with. Um, that's a bit concerning at your age because you should be having a proper doctor to help you. Uh, would you like me to schedule you for a, a real doctor's appointment or... Oh, do you not schedule your own appointments? Who schedules your appointments for you? Do you have a parent still schedule an appointment for you? Oh, you should schedule stuff for yourself. Yeah, you don't want to talk about that. Okay, I'm just going to write that down. <laughs> and... So, I did see that your height is the same as the last time you had a medical checkup, which was two and a half years ago. Are you coming in for your annual checkups ever? Yeah, we're missing some information then. Okay, I'm going to be asking you more than I expected. I'm going to be getting your heart rate now. Okay. And I did notice your height is the same as uh, the first time that we checked you about two and a half years ago. But your weight has changed. Would you like to talk about that? Not right now. Okay, well, I'll get your heart rate and we'll talk about it afterwards, okay? So, what I'm going to be examining is your heart rate here on your shoulders. I'm going to be examining your abdominal stomach with, like, the stethoscope here. And then I'm going to be examining your back with your breathing, okay? Good. And are you athletic? Okay. You don't want to talk about that. I'll ask you later. So, I'm going to be putting this on your chest first, okay? And this is freezing. There's nothing I can do about it, honestly. So, just breathe in. And breathe out. Are you a bit nervous? I can hear. I can breathe in. And breathe out. on your back now. I want you to breathe 
breathe in and breathe out. Good. Breathing sounds good and your stomach is working very hard right now. Did you just eat something or are you someone who is uh, feeling like you need to have some flatulence? Because, because you're allowed to flagellate all you like. Flagellate as much as you like. There's no embarrassment here. I've seen everything on earth. Yes, I've been a nurse for a long time, so I've seen a lot and a lot of things. Okay, very good. Breathing sounds amazing. I'm going to be taking a look at your eyes now. Okay, and again, if you'd like to flatulate, flatulate whenever you'd like. Trust me, nothing faces me anymore. I've been a nurse for so long, and your stomach does seem to be working in overdrive right now. Um, have you been... Look, if you're holding your phone a lot, your pinkies actually do have an indent in them. I can tell. 
pale and your thumb has a bit more of a curve to it and your eyes do look a bit irritated unless you were participating in different recreational activities before this exam and any information on that you'd like to let me know well I'm listening
Okay, so I do see you still have tonsils. And that looks good though too. Very good. So, let's take a look first in your nose. So, just going to ask you to breathe in and breathe out for me. Okay, it does look like there is mucus there. That's perfectly fine. And are you someone who often uh, examines their nose? Do you understand what I mean by that? <laughs> are you the type to put um, any cleansing products into your nose? There's something called a neti pot where they use to clean your sinuses. Have you ever used one of those before? No, I can tell. And any problems with your sinuses or allergies? Okay, I'm going to check your ears now. And just based off of how you look, you seem like the type to listen to a lot of a very loud music. Hey, who's your favorite artist? I expect that I never heard of them, but I'm gonna take a look into your ears, okay? So I'm just gonna take a quick look into your ears. Can you hear that? Oh, wow, I'm very proud that you can still hear that. How loud do you listen to your music? Very loud. Have you had any problems with hearing uh, since we've last seen you? Not that you know of. Okay, we'll give you a quick hearing test. Okay, that one looks great. There is earwax, which is good. It's normal. Do you use Q-tips? Because it does look a bit, um, irritated. Yeah, we're gonna have to have you stop using that. If you ever want to actually clean your ears, I always recommend, uh, hydrogen peroxide and letting it sit for 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And then cleaning it out. That's it. I promise you it's so much better than a cotton, a cotton round. Let's check the other side now. Can you hear that? Very good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just test your hearing Just because you said you do listen to loud music And I have a Something known as a beep test And what this is going to do Is there's going to be something that's going to beep Next to your ears Okay Can you hear that? It sounds like that And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to ask if you hear it from your left or your right side, okay? And I'm not going to make any uh, sound I'm going to ask you, though, to close your eyes, and the machine will make all the sounds for itself. Good. So close your eyes. Very good. And you let me know by lifting your hands left or right which side it comes from. Good. Let's begin. Good. And now? Perfect. What side now? And now? What side now? And now? Now. And now. Now. And now. Very good. So it looks like you got all of the sounds correct. Very good. I'm going to test you now with just something known as a tuning fork. I'm going to show you what this actually does with a little ear model here. When I put the tuning fork close, it will actually create a sound that will reflect off of the eardrum. It won't touch the eardrum, but it can be quite loud. I want you to let me know if you hear any sound of it because this is a sound that's quite difficult for people to hear if they've been listening to loud music because this is a very different note. So, let's begin. Can you hear this? One more time. No sound. so much. You're gonna have to stop listening to music so loud and that just proved it. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you, this is just a polite question here, okay? Do you have any friends? Any friendly friends? Any friendly friends that you find to be very friendly? Perhaps something like a someone you love or a romance? Do you have someone or people like that in your life? Okay. Any details? Yeah, no, I'm not writing this in detail, but I am writing it in detail. Okay. And are you someone who enjoys having them around? Do you enjoy that person in your life? Are you someone who also has and does friendly things with said friends or people that you love? 
understand what I mean? Any of that? Just writing that down. Oh, I just mean things like a picnic in the park. Or going out to dinner. Or perhaps watching a movie at home. Okay. Thank you. Just wanting to know. No, I'm definitely not writing this in detail. Just... Oh no, I'm 
serious, that's not a joke. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna write this down and 